should say a lot of the folks behind me are my buddies. Uh, I love them. They're all part of the Jason Show fan club on Facebook. They are here. If you want to join, uh, they're a fun group. Let me tell you, they are fun. Just go to Facebook and search for Jason Show Fan Club. Well, all this week, we're celebrating the city of Duluth as part of our Summer at the Shore series. One company in Duluth started 137 years ago making bags for canoe travel. Since then, Duluth Pack has evolved, creating fashionable bags of all types. But the way they make their bags has not changed. And Kendall learned that by visiting their manufacturing headquarters. Look at this. This is where it all begins. It smells, I wish we had smell a vision. It <laughs> smells so good down here. It does. Like, smo so smoky, leathery. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So what's really neat about uh, where our leather comes from is it's all sourced here in the United States and it's all a byproduct of the meat industry. So it's all would be wasted otherwise. So, so. it's sustainably sourced, yep. sort of. Yep, so okay. all the meat is used in the meat industry, we get the leather afterwards. And we only have two of each pattern. So one here, and in case something were to happen here, our CEO has a safe with all the patterns at his house as That's well. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there's no machines, no automated. I mean, they literally trace every bag oh, wow. from the beginning. Once it's cut out and they get those pieces, they make it. It's not yeah. going through a production line. It's one person. It's actually our sewers who came up with the idea and asked if they could sign the bags that they made because they were so proud of their work. and They signed them? Yep, by hand, with the date. Oh my uh, gosh, yeah. you guys. We have a, can we, like, can we find the person who you, did mine? Yeah. I, find, I don't know who it is. But yeah, we could, we oh could definitely gosh. see who made yours. This is where the magic happens. Yeah. We came up a level, like literally, we walked up the stairs and this is the main level. This is where all the sewers do their sewing. Yeah. This started as, hey, this is a really great idea for stuff for literally physical lugging of equipment. Yes. But now you've kind of moved into this more, hey, this is a cute work bag. Hey, this is a market tote, right. a wallet. People loved our bags but you don't really get to carry a canoe pack that's this big around, big around you know, every day. And when you buy one, you're good for life. You don't need to keep buying. Uh, and then, yeah, it just began where there was people express interest in, in purses and things like that. And it kind of The ladies wanted to get right. in on the trend. Right. <laughs> but actually, a fun fact is that the shell purse is called a shell purse because yeah. it carried ammunition shells. Really? Yes. So it I wasn't, have, a, well, of course. I'm like, I have to show purse too. <laughs> it wasn't originally made for women's fashion. It was to literally carry mm -hmm. shells for shooting. Yep. yep. Ah, yeah. So that's the size. That's, yep. that's what, 300, 600, 900, whatever it is. Yep, there's right? three different sizes. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. I feel like there's a lot of pride that goes into making this. Not only is it for a lot of people here, like where they live, mm -hmm. when they've grown up, but they know how much care is put into the whole process. Whenever I'm traveling and I see someone carrying a Duluth pack, like I instantly feel that sense of connection to them and I always right. want to ask them are you from Duluth did you get it from here like where are you from who made your bag and mm -hmm. a lot of people are like you guys Duluth pack <laughs> like no seriously. who are you you weird lady who made your bag <laughs> I probably know the person that hand sewed your bag brought my bag over please don't mind that it's full of stuff <laughs> this is legit my bag this is my legit work bag there's shoes makeup cell phone wallet uh, an earpiece <laughs> in here never okay. know what you need so show me where yeah I find this. This okay. is a, a tag that says that this is a genuine Duluth pack made here. This is a tag that states that we're made here in the USA, right here in Duluth. Yep. And then... Oh my gosh! This right is there! It. So everyone signs theirs by hand. Yeah. Belinda made this bag. Uh -huh. You can actually see what year. So she made it in October of 2017. That yeah. is so cool! Mm -hmm. Oh my... I never noticed that. Is she here? I, do, I would have to find out. Okay, you guys, we're going to go find out. And if she's not... We won't find her. We're just gonna show up at her house. Yeah, right. Really <laughs> you made my bag. I want to thank you. Oh my gosh, how cool is that? Okay, we're gonna find my bag maker, guys. Your name's Linda, right? Yes. Linda Lee? No. Oh. Is Linda Lee here? No, she's not. She's on. She's not here. Of course, my bag maker isn't here. The one day that I'm here. <laughs> well, um, you're a Linda, so thank you for my bag. <laughs> Well, Linda Lee, tell Linda Lee thank you for me. Okay, I will. And thank you, because you're my other Linda yes. here today. <laughs> yes. I appreciate it. And Kendall joins us now. That was, I was so surprised by that. And you actually, here's your Legit, bag. Legit, it's my bag. You use this every day. Every day, yeah. There's uh, tennis shoes, a hair dryer, an extra shirt. <laughs> well, yeah. There's, tennis like, shoes. What's this glittery it's thing? It's my sunglasses case. Jason. Oh, <laughs> There's a lot of stuff in here. I'm not going to 
pull everything. Well, that would. Let's see what else is. Well, I'm I just mean, joking. There's gym clothes. Oh. <laughs> it's everything. And we, you were shocked by that place looks big. Is it a big factory? It's not huge. You know, it's uh, a lot like you would think a factory in a small town would be. You would never think that they make as many bags as they do, but they whip through them so quickly. It's just absolutely insane. And so, like the thing about the uh, tag and how it has the person who makes your bag. They, I look for all my other purses, and they really do have all that. And you can find it on their website if you just go to like. I gotta fix your mic here because oh. it's rubbing on your. It sounds like. <laughs> my microphone like, isn't working. There we go. There we go. I fixed it. It was Hi, rubbing everyone. against your tiger. My, my your tiger cheetah. Shirt. It's rubbing against your cheetah. Uh, but you can go online and see who made your bag. You, oh, you can. Yeah, like cause if most people are never gonna be in this. Yeah. Uh, the warehouse. <laughs> but, hey, girl. Yeah, so, hi, yeah. <laughs> Linda Lee. Uh, but you can find them online. Fabulous. Cool.